So what's up you lovely bunch? I thought it was about time I gave you a closer look at Little Flory R1275 GT. This is an original 1275 GT that's had its original engine taken out, reboard, rebuilt into a monster 1380 paired with straight cut gears 120 brake horsepower the full spec is obviously on the website for you to have a proper read of but this is by far the best car that we've done total restoration a couple of years ago which included pretty much all new metal and as you can see it presents in absolutely stunning condition this car is perfect obviously finished in silver i don't actually know what shade of silver it is um, but they did make these in silver so i'm assuming there is the original silver finished with a black contrasting roof and the black migler arches obviously all the original decals black painted original grille upgraded headlights all of the bumpers are original to this car and have been re-chromed and everything else that you see externally chrome wise is brand new 13 inch 13 by 6 inch mambas with upgraded super thin rear drums all wrapped in nice and sticky Yoko A359 tyres which is pretty much the go-to tyre for any fast road mini now crystal clear rear light covers this insane rear fog light which is just cool and of course why it makes so much noise is the back bike back box all paired with a full system we'll just pop the bonnet for you to prepare yourself have a look at this DSM brackets and then obviously a complete and utter work of our carbon fibre just look at these twin issues <laughs> this car is absolutely next level just look if that isn't a show winning engine bay I'm not sure what is just look at this thing obviously it's got the dark tinted windows these are nice as well the wind deflectors they do make quite a difference black sun strip cool carbon wrapped and then obviously we enter the inside they have one off door cards this has got an amazing stereo system in it as well it's got six benigns in the door in the doors it has six benigns built in underneath which you can't quite see because my camera won't focus <coughs> obviously full six point roll cage custom dashboard copper monaco bucket seats the CAD quick shifter which is just a work of art in itself look at that obviously the clunking and the clicking just all adds to the experience that's where the CD player is there is also an amp in the boot which I'll show you in a second obviously your standard controls that you'd expect all of the extra gauges, which I will show you again on startup. And obviously the original 12.75 G2. 
GT clocks wrapped in this it's leather. It's a leather grey with a carbon effect top and bottom rails. A pop off steering wheel. I will show you from this side with a 12 o'clock marker. OMP, look at this, leather clad with red matching stitching. You can see the brakes, sorry the brake, <laughs> the brake accelerator and clutch pedal. Oh, just pop that down. got lighting so it's got lighting on a roll cage uh, in the rear door pockets and also in the footwells which you can't see because it's obviously light today all alloy door furniture this car truly doesn't really need <clears throat> any explanation really just look at it Everything on this car is absolutely oh, perfect. There's the floating sub and the amp. So it's got, not only does it go like a rocket ship, the stereo system in here is absolutely epic. But obviously with the straight cut gears, And the monster 1380 in my opinion that is all you could ever want for in a mini let's just get her started up so you can have a listen to what the fuss is about steering lock was on typically so obviously proper lumpy because of the upgraded cam and this is totally cold as well